I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your overview Capricorn for the coming week, February the 23rd. Now your ruling planet Saturn, which is in the sign before you, has quite a few aspects this week. There's three aspects, so let's cover that because anything that happens with Saturn affects you or us. If you've been watching me for a while, um, you'll know I'm a fellow Capricorn. Uh, so right at the start of the week, we've got a square between the Sun and a, a Saturn and the sun is in your solar third house so this is very much to do with communication uh, and with saturn being your 12th house it's very much to do with communication with yourself okay is um one way of looking at this uh, so which means you want to put the time aside to just delve in a little bit deeper about what's going on in your life, how you feel about it. Sometimes we get busy, uh, all the time we get busy, and sometimes we can just push down our feelings because it's like, you know what, we don't have time to deal with that now. And But they're still there, okay, and then once you know something happens of a similar nature, it's going to be triggered and come up again. So you want to just make some time for to look at any emotional issues that are perhaps not dealt with. You may think you've dealt with them, but perhaps you've come to a point of indifference rather than a point of really, you know, looking at them and releasing them. Now, the other aspects of Saturn are Venus and Mars. Now, Venus and Mars, this is trine. So it's a favorable aspect, it's a softer aspect, uh, and they're both sitting in your solar fourth house all around your home and family area of life. Uh, you want to be a little careful with these aspects so that you don't start to hibernate. I mean, it is winter, certainly very cold in New York at the moment. When I took the pooch down for his grooming this morning, I think it was, you know, eight degrees or something ridiculous. Um, so you want to be careful that no matter how cold it is or, you know, if you're sitting over in Australia, then of course it's going to be quite warm. Um, but be careful of hibernating and we do have a tendency to do that because we you know we can get so comfortable in our our home area and you know we we go to work and then we come home and we just want to stay all nice and um, cozy and comfortable in our home so in in it, rather than do that I mean certainly have some time where you feel you can do that but use your home uh, with Venus in this area, it's a great time to use your home area for socializing and have people around. And then you get the best of, best of both worlds. You don't have to go out, but you're also socializing. Okay. Um, all right. Now, there's some news that can come through around money this week as well. There is an opposition between Mercury and Jupiter. So that can be some good news that's coming through about finances. Um, you want to just keep things in perspective. There is a possibility that someone's going to over embellish uh, how much you can make out of a project. So try to keep that in perspective, okay? All right, have a great week. Lots happening this week. I hope something fabulous happens for all of us. Bye for now. I'm Jennifer Angel.